it's, it's a, a specialised role, you know, reading the sprinter, knowing exactly where he wants to be, uh, putting him in a position to win. Everybody in the, in the peloton respects him so much that you can absolutely rely on him, that you know exactly what, what he will do and literally will never fail. It's all about judging that distance from the finish to be perfection that you set Cav up for maybe eight or ten seconds of sprinting and the most important is the positioning. If he's a little bit boxed in or if he's not able to get out and start his sprint then you know that's, that's the worst off situation you can be in because you really want him to be able to show his capabilities. Any great lead out man needs a finisher of equal quality and Mark Renshaw has arguably the best. I've known him quite a long time, spent you know, countless nights in a hotel room with him. He thinks of himself as a bit of a comedian. So sometimes you've got to laugh along with him. But we also, you know, we have to have a professional relationship in, in cycling. So he expects the most from me. Uh, likewise, I expect the most from him. Into of Croatia that we had a quite a tricky finish in stage two and we knew that we had to come into those corners first and second if we were any chance at winning. It's, it's not simple just to turn up in the right position, you need a good team and I was lucky that he put me in the right position and I could go from there and, uh, and set the victory up for Cav. They separated so Rancho had the chance to, to sprint for himself and also realizing the difficulties and I think that is important to understand you know what the sprinter feels in terms of pressure what a sprinter feels in terms of failing and not achieving what everybody expects him to achieve after working the whole day and that probably made him even a, a better lead out man when they when they came back and, and hooked up together again after a couple of seasons apart, Renshaw and Cavendish were reunited at the Mega Pharma Quick Step before completing a surprise move to Dimension Data this year. Stepping up to World Tour was probably you know, the biggest uh, step that they took this year and then signing riders like myself, Cavendish and Eisel. We've already won quite a few races and I'm enjoying being back with uh, Boson Hagen also. And it's not only riders who've moved with Cavendish, as head of performance Rolf Aldag also made the switch. However, inspirational sports director Brian Holm did stay with Etix Quickstep and its incoming star, Marcel Kittel. One of the best directors in the peloton and it's a shame that Brian couldn't come across with us to Dimension Data. Uh, it would have been nice to have him here because obviously he knows Cavendish so well. Uh, in, you know, he can play those little roles in, in his mind and, and, you know, turn him into that extra 5-10%. But on the other hand, uh, we signed uh, Roger Hammond, who, you know, is also a good friend of Cavendish and knows him quite well. And we've seen that this year he's been really successful. This year is a bit different than usual for the dynamic duo. With the Olympics in Rio coming up, 2016 has seen a different approach for Cavendish. It's been a little bit up and down this season so far. We've you know, crossed paths quite a lot, uh, Cavendish and I, because he's, he's got other objectives this year on the track. So um, at the moment we've rode with a lot of different guys. Uh, it's mainly about teaching them how, how to do the lead out. To win with a team is also very special because uh, it's so hard to do this day and age in cycling. And perhaps there's no better man to learn from than one who sacrificed his chances for personal glory. It's one of these very, very few sports where you really, really have to hurt yourself for somebody else's success. And it's, there's no cover-up, so if you're not there, people will see it. You know, I dedicate everything to uh, the guy behind me and, you know, some guys say, well, why don't you win? There's always a part uh, within you that would like to win. Um, you know, I'd, yeah, I'd love to win a race for my little boy and tell him that I won, but instead I have to tell him that the team won. <laughs>